Hey everyone, it's Varun Mahocha over here. Uh, today I'm doing another breakdown. I'm going to be doing uh, Mary May Queen, or Mer I think he's also known as Mer uh, Mary Mouse, don't quote me on that, against Fabrizio Andre. Um, both of these guys are like kind of, they're young black belts that like, I think they're around my age, like 19 or 20. Um, and uh, so basically for Mariam, his style of jiu-jitsu is, um, both of these guys are very top he uh, uh, top uh, based, but um, uh, they both, uh, but on top they like to do a lot of bullfighters and knee cuts. Um, Fabrizio likes to do a little more knee cuts than Miriam does, but on bottom they both have a very, very heavy, uh, they have a heavy emphasis on playing lasso, especially deep lasso, and you're going to see this in this match a lot. And um, yeah, I thought I thought it was a cool match to watch, so um, let's do it. Let's get straight into it. So over here they're kind of just geeing up and uh, getting ready to engage. So right now, so that that if we go back like two seconds, they're over here gripping up. Over here, this is very rare for like the light feather or featherweight division. Um, you don't see this like ever. But yeah, the only reason why you're seeing it over here is because both these guys like being on top. So basically, what they do, they um they grip up and they see if the other guy is gonna pull, so then they can start their passing chains. Or if they notice the other guy doesn't pull, they're just gonna pull straight into their guard and try and try and get to their position and immediately. Come on top. So if we keep going, so oh that was a good pull. That was a good pull. Let's see that. So he gets the foot on the hip, the other foot past the hip. Uh, you see Fabricio with um with uh his on top Fabricio. Uh, I think it's Fabricio on top. Yeah, Fabricio on top. With his uh with his right knee, he's kind of going for like a little knee cut, and also making sure that uh, Mariam can't get close guard. Mariam ends up throwing the foot over the top and putting in kind of like a reverse Salahiva type of thing. Oh no no, it was like a key master, kind of halfway in between. Over there, if we stay back over here, he immediately should have started going for scoops on the leg, like I discussed in the last one. Um, that's the that's the move. Or he could also use his um because there's space between Fabricio's heel and his butt. He could also go for a Delahiva entry on his left side if you're Miriam on the bottom. So you're facing Fabricio. You, if you can uh, enter an outside Delahiva to your left, but over here Fabricio does a good job of stuffing the foot in between. Okay, so this is the mistake. This is the mistake. Uh, Miriam went to double sleeves over here. In which you're not supposed to do that. It's good for retaining your guard, but you can't really do anything offensive off it. So I guess that's his priority, really. Um, but over here, Fabrizio does a nice, nice bullfighter. But over here, because Miriam has a deep lasso, it is like... If you keep that deep lasso grip, it is physically impossible to pass. I have studied this like over and over again. It is literally physically impossible to pass if the dude has the deep lasso and he keeps the grip. The only time you see guys actually pass the deep lasso position is when they let go of the grip and then they go to something else and then they get knee cut or an over under or something like that happens. It, so if you have the deep lasso, just keep it. You, you, it's literally physically impossible to get past. They're either going to need to force you into a short lasso or completely break the grip. So over here... Uh, Fabricio is having heavy like head forward pressure, so Miriam eventually gets his leg out of the middle. Let's see that for a sec. How does he get his leg? So he breaks the grip and then he brings his foot out. Um, so that's a good move over here. So right now Fabricio is in this kind of posture to block the deli heavers early and to stop any hooks from coming in. So he's kind of like in a half squat deadlift type position right now. He's um, let's see, let's keep going on. Yeah, so he eventually goes into a squat and that's just to preemptively block all the deli heaver hooks. This can leave him open to uh, matrix entries and also scissor sweeps, though. Uh, so Miriam just opts to keep the lassos because he just doesn't want to get past, obviously. And uh, and the thing is, like, uh, if everyone in the lower weight classes go to the double uh, goes to the double sleeves because it's so safe. But um, Fabrizio has his butt really close to the floor, over here. He keeps it real, real close. I'm not sure why for this. I've seen him in other matches like sit down, kind of put a foot in the thigh or a foot in the groin, kind of kick out the like kick them in the balls and then strip away the grip. But um, over here I'm not sure what he's trying to do. Yeah, so he's trying to do that right now and he's trying to break the grip. But Miriam has got a very very strong grip right now. If Miriam wanted to, he sh he could possibly grab the foot and stand up, and he does that. He's doing that right now. That was good. So over here, if we go back for a sec. So notice that it's Fabricio's bottom leg that's being controlled. If you control the bottom leg, that stops the opponent from actually standing up and actually and actually uh, stop themselves from conceding the sweep. So who, whenever you're having like a little sweep, double pull kind of battle, you always want to control the butt. You always want to control the bottom leg so you can stand up without the other person getting on top, without the risk of the other person getting on top. 
So over here he stands up. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Let's see that. Okay, so he goes into like a cross grip variation. Oh, that was a nice. That was like a cross grip into an over under. That was pretty fast. So over here again, uh, Fabrice should be going for um. Okay, so he opts to go for the lasso. He, he probably doesn't feel very comfortable on this side, but he could go for the matrix entry on uh, Mariam's right leg over there. But Mariam does a good job. So, okay, so Fabrizio kind of makes a little bit of a mistake over here. He goes for the shin on shin on this side, and that kind of gives Mariam the knee cut entry. Over there, Mariam is just trying to... So you see the deep lasso. Mariam's just trying to strip the grip a little bit. Or over here, it looks like... Yeah, so he's just kind of trying to strip the grip and then start a bullfighter chain off it. Um, I'm not sure what exactly Fabrizio is going for over here, but he's got a good Delaheva right now. He's kind of controlling him. But um, uh, Mariam is doing a good job on pushing on the shin. He's using the lapel, so he might be coming up on a single over here, maybe. Um, yeah, but right now Mariam's just focused on... on uh, because Mariam likes a lot of bullfighters, so he's just focused on... Um, ooh, what's happening here? Mariam's just focused on like doing a lot of bullfighters. So over here, Fabrizio is doing a good job with that lapel, using that to in using the headquarters or the reverse Delaheva as well, try and get him over the top. He kind of went for like a Marigali sweep for like a second there, the, with the deep lasso in the foot in the middle. But um, uh, what do you call it? Mariam steps over to the side and does a good job of negating that, and that forces Fabrizio into the deep lasso again on the side. So yeah, he's trying to step. He's trying to put his knee on that elbow and break the grip. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Let's see that. Yeah, so he does like, uh, Miriam does like, if you go over here for like a split second, so Miriam does like a little deadlift over here, okay, and that, and that fucks up, uh, that fucks up Fabrizio's foot positioning, so then over here he's gonna start doing a bullfighter to the other side. That was really, really nice, but, uh, Fabrizio gets the, um, gets the foot back in for the lasso. So over here he's gonna try and do the same thing again, because it worked last time, but now he chooses... So th that time he opted to go for like a kind of like a traditional stack entry, grabbing the drawstring and trying to try and tire flip him. Um, so over here, let's see what happens. So he goes over there. Uh, Fabrizio ends up just sitting up, probably because he felt like there was, a, there was an opportunity for Mariam to pass. And he kind of like wants to go into a little more of a wrestling base so that he can't get his guard passed as easily. Uh, right there, Mariam just disengages. Okay, so Mariam's just right now, he just wants Fabrizio on his back, so he can just start a bullfighter chain, but uh, but Fabrizio knows this and stands up. Phew, that was, that was a smart thing by Fabrizio right there. So he just, because he knows Mariam is going to pull, he just immediately waits and goes straight into that knee cut he was trying to get earlier. That was really, really nice. But, uh, what do you call it, Mariam does a good job of pummeling his foot over the top. Right now, Fabrizio could possibly switch out to the other side or continue. Oh, okay, so he has that lasso. So over here, he has to kind of. He's trying to pressure forward for an over under type thing. You can kind of do that if the guy, um, if the guy ends up letting go of the grip, but he doesn't. And um, yeah, he's just kind of trying. He's just kinda, over here. Main, the main purpose of this type of position is just to wear the guy out and um, what do you call it? Just wear the guy out and then make him tight, and then they got they're gonna want to switch their grips or switch their frames or something. So that's the main thing. So he's kind of just cartwheeling over. That, let's see that for a sec. Yeah, so he's trying to cartwheel over. But over there, there's no real, there's no real entry to any kind of pass over there. But um, but Merriam decides he doesn't want to be on bottom because of that exchange because Fabrizio is very aggressive. And um, he's either going to try and get a good pull or they're going to try and wrestle like you're seeing now. So Fabrizio is trying to go for that little ankle pick. Um, that was a good choice, but, um, it's hard when they have the colors and they're stiff arming and everything. Uh, in the gear, it, like, takedowns in, gen uh, in general, like, reaching to the legs are pretty hard. You're gonna have to chain it with something like a fake guard pull or collar drag, or you're gonna have to try and, like, phys like try and physically break your way through the frames, but it's pretty hard in general. Um, they're both looking exhausted. So, Fabrizio might be thinking about, yeah, an ankle pick or maybe a pull even over here. I don't remember quite exactly what happens. There's grip fighting, trying to like get on it. Oh, that was a nice pull. And uh, so over here, you see Mariam. He switches his angle. I'm not sure if that was more of a switch of Mariam's angle or, or Fabrizio just brought up the other leg. But um, yeah, so it, they end up in that same position they had in the first match, except I can't remember which leg, but one of them was like lower or higher. Woo, let's see that. Okay, so as 
so if we look over here, if we break it down a little bit, Merriam with his right leg is going to try and Dele Heva Fabricio, uh, Fabricio's left leg. Over here, Fabricio he tries to shin cut over the top, but ends up with his both of his knees down pretty much. Okay, his right knee is just off the floor. But then Merriam uses that momentum to turn it into a scissor sweep. And that was really, really nice. That was beautiful. And he goes straight into the pass. One thing you want to you want to do whenever you sweep, you want to go straight into a pass. And that's like, he's doing that beautifully over here. That was really, really nice. So right now, Fabrizio has to get a little more aggressive because he's down on the score. Okay, so um, he's uh, he's uh, using he's just kind of going forehead to forehead over here. Normally, this is normally going forehead to forehead if you're a guard player in these lower weight divisions isn't, isn't that great of an idea because a lot of guys chain their passes from that spot. But because these guys are more top players, it's a little more okay because um, because uh, Fabrizio always has that option of standing up, you know, and um. Yeah, and also Emerian prefers prefers the bullfighter, but he's got the collar grip right now, so it's a little bit it's a little harder for him. But he eventually throws the foot past the hip. Marion goes for a very, very nice knee cut entry. Over there, that was really, really good, but it's hard with that deep lasso. It's really, really hard. So you see the foot on the hip? Um let's just skip forward. So over here, okay, so they kind of readjust in a little bit of a different position over here. Fabrizio's got a very strong deep lasso and a very strong collar grip. Oh, that was a nice omoplata entry. That was a, how, how did you do that? Let's see that. Okay, so he tried to go for like the like the one that Levi does actually. So he goes for the collar lasso, grabs the tricep, pulls it through and tries to break a posture off it. That was really nice, but he ends up getting the deli heaver because Mariam connects his elbow to his knee. Oh, it already has it. So over here it's a little hard, and he goes for the Dele Heaver. Switches to the tries to switch to the X guard, but it doesn't really pan out for him. Merriam stri uh, strips the sleeve grip, and now he's like getting ready to set up his bullfighter sequences again. Okay, so a little bit of forehead to forehead here. Uh, so Merriam potentially could club over the top, but it's a little hard when they're on their knees. Fabrice is just trying to really aggressively get under. Oh. That was nice. Let's see that again. So as so basically, a lot of the times guys have to post their arms out, kind of Leandro style, um, or like or even Gordon Ryan does it a little bit. So they post their hands out whenever guys are trying to get under them for an entry. But the thing is, uh, um, uh, so as he tries to pummel his legs out, Fabrizio has that very strong sleeve and collar grip, and then pulls him into a triangle as Marion gets his base back. That was very very nice. So over here, there's a potential Barada Plata entry for Fabrizio, even though in my experience it isn't too high percentage, but he could go for it. Maybe he could switch to an Oma Plata over here, and he does do that. Um, let's see. Oh, that was nice. That was a good deadlift out, kind of like just yanking the arm out. Fabrizio is really keen on these ankle picks, eh? He's he's been really like big on those. Yeah, I think I think what both of these guys could potentially do more is like a few more scoops on the leg, you know. Like uh, none of these guys are, are like scoop. Whoa! Let's see that. Oh, that was fucking sick. He like back stepped out and then went for that nice, nice bullfighter. He's got the spider he could throw by off it. Maybe it's a little hard with the collar grip. Yeah, they just end up kind of resetting. He's going for like a deli heaver single leg now, kind of lepre style. He's trying to feed the lapel. He could, if this fails, he could end up scooping under for like a deep half or something. Merriam ends up backstepping. They end up in a combat base again. You can't really knee cut through a combat base. It's kind of hard. What happened there? Yeah, so as, as Merriam, so basically what happens, if you shove your hips forward on a knee cut, then it makes it harder for them to keep that foot on the outside. And then, um... Uh, and they have to generally switch to something else. So they generally have to either they have to either spin under explosively, or they have to grab that far leg. So uh, Fabrizio would use his left hand to grab uh, Mariam's far leg, and then try and like uh, what do you call it? Like just flip them over. But over here, and that kind of doesn't happen. Uh, Fabrizio goes for like a sit up type of thing. He tries to do like he tries to bail out a little bit like Leandro style. But over here, that isn't the best situation to do that. Um, that's better when you can kind of like, when you can block, 
if you're going to do that Leandre style cross collar bailout, you want to make sure they can't run to the other side, or if you're letting them run to the other side, you're setting up a collar drag. Um, but over here, he makes, he makes a little bit of a mistake, and he lets him get around his frame a little bit. Okay, that was very smart tactically by Merriam. As he goes around, Fabrizio stands up, he pulls, so then there's no points, uh, there's no points on Fabrizio's end. There's no, he doesn't get any points scored on him. So over here, he ends up locking the, the Hodge Gracie style ho close guard, so he could potentially tip him to the outside, maybe go for an outside bolo entry over here. He could scoop the leg, maybe. Um, but over here, he's probably just going to go to the lasso, you know. Yeah, he's breaking that grip, so... So uh, Fabrizio can't go for like a, a Lepre style knee cut. Oh, what was that? Let's see that. Okay, so he just kind of flips him over the Hodger Gracie close guard. And uh, controls his leg and stands up. Over here, he's in X guard. Oh, that was a nice back step. That was a really nice back step. Okay, so now he's just getting... So there's three, four minutes on the clock. So he's just kind of going to be really aggressive now. You're, gonna, you're just going to start chaining shit as much as you can. He's going for that, uh, for that collar and... Wait, like, how, did he, how did he set that up? Okay, so Fabrizio just got, like, uncomfortable there. He was kind of not too confident in his guard retention. And he end up, ended up standing up. Um, over here, Fabrizio really should have. Uh, within three seconds, he should have pulled guard with his foot on the outside. Um, because now, now since he's been standing up for three seconds, Marion can score another two points off it if he gets taken down. Yeah, or, you know, just get a free pull. Okay, so he, let go, he lets go and then he pulls. And that's, you know, it's a rough position to be in. But I guess it's not too bad for for Fabricio because he's because he's a top player. But, you know, he's down six points. So, like, if he's if he passes the guard, that's still not going to be enough. He's going to need to get Neon Belly in mount or maybe take the back or something. Or, or just, like, just submit him, you know. But, like, he's in a rough spot. That's uh, Milky Gabal. He's a pretty good coach from um from Manaus. Trains a lot of good guys. Diogo Hayes, uh, Mika Gabal, uh, Fabrizio Andre. I think they have a few other blokes as well. Okay, so then up in that close guard. I don't know who that dude is. Okay, so he throws in the lasso again. Playing it pretty safe on bottom, going double sleeves. So right now this dude is like just trying to make sure that like, because he knows that Fabrice is just gonna be on a fucking like he's just gonna be a, a fucking bulldozer and try and like run him over. So he's just gonna try and make sure that um that Fabrice doesn't get anything off. But right now Fabrice is, oh he's going for a crab ride over here. That's nice. I never knew he did that. He shoves up the lasso, dives the shin, and you can see Levi actually used the Mateus Lutz. I think it's Spider a few years ago. That was pretty good. This is a little bit of a different, uh, different finish though. Uh, he's got the foot. He's got the foot across his head, so he could potentially go for a leg drag over here. Yeah. So right now he should just be like diving for a bolo. Over here, this is where you got to dive for a bolo, but he doesn't really do that all that much. Um. Yeah. So over here, that that was probably the best move. But right now, like, Merriam's just kind of safe. He's throwing him in fifty fifty. He's got the pant grip. Yeah, and you know he kind of gives that sweep a little because of that because of that squatting style that he has. Gives the sweep a little bit, and now Merriam's just going to go on a fucking rampage with those bullfighters, as you can see. That was a nice knee on belly entry, but Fabrizio does a good job of throwing the foot over the top. You can see that with his face, like a little, like three seconds ago, that he's kind of really tired and trying. He's a little frustrated as well. Ooh. Okay, so he just flat out stands up. Yeah, that's. That's not a good move. Um, yeah, so over here, I think uh, it, he should be going for that lasso or the, or the Roger Gracie sleep, uh, sweep again. The Roger Gracie sweep. Um, so over here, it's, yeah, it's going to be hard. Yeah, I, it's me personally, I don't like squatting too much whenever I pass, especially dropping my butt down to the mat. But, like, yeah, I think I think Fabrice is just kind of frustrated right now and trying to do everything. It looks like Merriam has got, like, the strongest sleeve grips ever. Yeah, so now, now Fabrizio is just on a fucking warpath, you know, he's just trying to, he's just trying to just take him out, but you can't, that, with that full lasso, it's so hard, it's just like, it's, it's literally physically impossible to do, uh, to like, pass the guard with that grip, I've seen like, everyone, like, um, what's his name, Tynan couldn't pass Mikhail Gaval with it, um, 
uh, I saw Hidolfo couldn't even, Leandro couldn't, like it's just it's just physically impossible. You're gonna you're gonna need to either shorten that lasso or strip the grip. Um Yeah, so he's just hopping over, but right now like most people think they can pass in this spot, but it's pretty hard. So Merriam just stands up because he feels a little unsafe even though he can't get past there. Because there is a lot of pressure there is a lot of pressure in those spots. And uh but he, he just kind of feels unsafe and then ends up standing up. Yeah. You know, so now they're kinda of in that dog fight, little overhook, wizard position. Yeah, it's a reset so they stand up again. Like um Fabrizio over here should just jump a triangle or something. That's like really his best shot right now. He's down eight zero. Um Yeah, M Marion lost a little bit of focus there. And this kinda yeah. Fabrice takes advantage and tries to like Yeah, I think he's just trying to get like a he's trying to get a triangle right now. Yeah, that's that that was a smart move. That's that's the right move over there. But you know, it's it's hard. A dude is it's yeah. You know. It's a hard spot for Fabrizio. Marion's done a good job, he's just gonna kinda stall over here, make sure it, like make sure nothing bad happens. But over here is pretty safe, you know. Fabrizio tries to go for the loop choke, but it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of hard for him. So Marion wins. That was very impressive, but, like, that was a good fight from both of them. Even though it was 8-0, that doesn't quite represent, like, it wasn't, like, a, a complete blowout, you know. It was, like, a very tightly contested match. They were both spots where they were both in trouble. It was, that was a very, very fun match to watch. That was awesome. Okay, I hope you, um, so, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This, uh, I'm trying to get back, I'm trying to do, like, one of these a week now. Uh, just kind of a little more, what do you call it? Not as formal, but more kind of chill without all the fucking, key, like, all the, what do you, I don't know what the fuck you call all the animations and shit. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, subscribe, like if you want. Um, follow me on Instagram. I, I post a lot of the shit there. Um, I think so, at least. It's just mostly bullshit, but, you know, it's fun. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Comment any matches that you want to see me do in the future. Or any ideas as to how I how I can improve these breakdowns or something you would like to hear more of. Any kind of ideas, you know, I'm open to it. Uh, I appreciate everything. Thank you. Goodbye.